guys welcome back to another video um, thank you so much for tuning in okay for today video I was not going to make a video but then uh, for those people who are outside Nagaland and who really want, who are thinking to visit Nagaland I just want to show you how you how you have to or what are the conditions of the road uh, that will lead you to okay but okay this is the conditions of the road till now uh, actually I have forgotten uh, to take the initial parts of the road but then yes after reaching Dimapur and this is just below Medipema or the other name of Medipema is Gaspani so if you are going to you know, like come up to uh, Kohima then this is the road this is the condition of the road till now I don't know later on how far it is going to be but then till now the road condition is very good and the place where I'm doing a video right now is uh, just not very far from Dimapur town it's about 30 kilometers from Dimapur and finally I have reached a place called Pipema this is the halfway of uh, halfway between Dimapur and Kohima and out here it is very inevitable inevitable place that uh, every travelers from outside or from Dimapur to Kohima they used to stop by here and they used to take a break here you can get varieties of fruits or even vegetables and even the hotels or dhabas you'll find lots of here and you have to take rest from in here and you should take a break up from here so yes so far so good the roads hello guys uh, I have reached Kirupema or the other name of Kirupema is called Lalmati and yes it is like about 30 kilometers away from Kohima town and I am about to reach uh, in some few minutes maybe 40 40 to 50 minutes yes I'm going to stop by here and I'm going to have a tea and so yes for those who are coming to uh, Nagaland especially for Hornbill festival yes I would suggest you to come over here to come uh, alone or along with your dear ones and you can come and have a good time I think so because the road condition is so far so good and just assume that yes some patches are still there to make up but until now till now the road condition is very fine and good and even the weather is very chilly on the way to Kohima I have seen these flowers and it was really like, very catchy and these are the Christmas flowers Good morning from Kohima. I'm staying along with uh, one of my friend in Kohima. And then, yes, yesterday I couldn't update, but then the timing um, from Dimapur to reach Kohima, it takes around two hours. And the road conditions, like I said, it is already uh, been re renovated very well. And since the four lane construction is going on, in some parts, still some parts are still very dusty, but still. It is very good so far so good so yes yesterday I have reached and today I'm about to move to somewhere somewhere and later on if it's if the time permits then I'll go to the spots where uh, the Hornbill festival is to conduct uh, Kisama or the heritage and I'll show you around so yes for those uh, outside Nagaland whoever are thinking to come over to Nagaland then uh, no need to hesitate or no need to feel insecure. Yes, for sure there are insurgency problems are there But then if you are not so unlucky then Nothing will happen to you like yes Nothing happens to good people. So Accidentally uh, I cannot assure you that but then accidentally it happens then there is some case but or else no need to feel, feel insecure Nagaland is a very secure place Where we are very loving people so come and please join the Hornbill Festival if you are planning to come over and spend some time here in uh, Nagaland. So, yes.
welcome to Nagaland. So we are already in a place called Esama and we are on our way to Isama, the place where uh, our Hornbill festival used to, uh, used to conduct. So we are going there. I think to reach, uh, uh, I mean the distance from Kohima town to Kisama will be around 30 kilometers. Maybe around that, I'm not very sure. But then it will be somewhere like that. And meantime, this road leads to uh, Impal. And yes, those are some cherry blossoms around. Yeah. The festival, for those who doesn't know, uh, it used to be conducted every year from December 1 to 10. So here it is me and along with me, Mr. Zapu. He's riding a bike right now. If you can hear me, we are on our way to Kisama and we are having a good time. It's very cold, yes. Very cold. So we pre we, uh, we prepare with warm clothes. Hello guys! We are about to reach. And yes, the road condition is very very good. So before the day comes, uh, the day is very very near. Today the date is only 26. So by date one it will be starting. So in case after such a long time it has been going to uh, relaunch or restart again. So come and please join uh, the party. Let's go. So that is that is it. Naga Heritage Village. Hello. Here I am already in the Kisama, the spot where the Kwanjo festival is to be conducted. Oh, they are on the leather. So starting from the cookie house. Cookie in means cookie house. So there are multiples of uh, tribes house or not tribe house, morang. So this is a kind of morang. Uh, in Nagaland we have, uh, we have 16 major tribes and apart from that we have like indigenous uh, tribes like Kuki, Kuki, Kachari. So this is our tribes, ha, tribes Morong. This is how it has been built, and yes, during the festival you get get varieties of things that we used to consume with okay duplicate corn meal <laughs> As you told her, you were. You were a boy, you were. 
se dit c'est là. Semi. Hein? Semi. Oh, semi qui m'a haut. Les rêves, voilà. Ok, continue. Je suis ici à Sanctum. This is the Sanctum house. Oh. Sanctum King, what do you do? Je suis ici à Cognacodi, je suis ici à Cognacodi. You know this was the end of that. See, we know this is the house of. This is the house of. Huh? No. This is the ha. This is the morong, not the house. The morong of Chang. And this is the wooden drum. This is the Chang Murong. Wow. So the preparation is still going on. Uh, we uh, we are we continued our walk and uh, we are on our way to Konyak Tribe Morong. So here it is. These are the Morongs. The preparation still the preparation is going on. Wow. Kalau sih ya, deh. Aku dingin kalau le. So that is the overview of the Hornbill Heritage. So yes, the preparation is going on. So if you are still hesitating and thinking, you should come and pay a visit. We are going to have a good time. Home. This is the house of, not the house, the morong of our tribe. This is the our people. Hello, kira ni? Ya lah, kopi mula macam kopi. Kopi. Here comes uh, the Garo, Garo Morong. Uh, this is the Garo Morong. What is this? Oh, there is simply being built. The Garo people has this dragon, tiger, I think, serpent, and how do you Mermaid. I think maybe they believe or they worship once upon a time. But we, the Nagas, we doesn't do that. Okay. Oh, this is the Kachari house. This is the Kachari house. Okay. The Kacharis Morong. So this is how it looks like. The Kachari Morong. Kachari Jo, they got a no drunk. So I think that is it.
this is the place where the tourists march. It's going to be held. Lights. Oh, this is the tourism mark where you will get uh, varieties of people from the northeast. So yes, come and pay a visit, okay? And with that saying, I'm going to wind up my videos and if you like, come and please um, witness the Hornbill Festival.